I'm Kurt Loder with MTV News. You'll never guess who's back. It's Fleetwood Mac, those masters of L.A. studio rock, who've returned from the 70s to tape a concert for MTV that'll be airing here this coming Tuesday night. Fleetwood Mac's songs of heartbreak and yearning were un unusually convincing, coming from a band whose two resident musical couples, Christine and John McVie and Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks, fell apart as the group rose to international stardom. Pulling all of them back together 20 years later involved a lot of delicate negotiation. Here's the story. How much of some of these problems stem from, from your cocaine use back then? Uh, well, it wasn't just my cocaine use. It was everybody's cocaine use. I was not alone in that one. On a personal level, I'm, I'm blessed to be sitting here anyhow when I think of the, the horror st story that ensued with my lifestyle. There were a lot of hurtful things that happened from everyone. And uh, it was always about trying not to feel those things and you know over a period of time it you you, you push it back and push it back and it, it has to come out at some point everything is on a, a a new kind of a beginning thing you know where we've kind of said our i'm sorry's and everything and everything is good now Band members swear this reunion happened for the music, not for the money. Spurred on by a Buckingham Knicks collaboration on the Twister soundtrack, and by Mick Fleetwood's drumming on Buckingham's solo record. Clearly, this was a far happier event than their one-off get-together for the 1992 Clinton inaugural. Yesterday's gone. Yesterday's gone. We did that because the President of the United States asked us to do that. You know, that's probably the only man in the whole world that could have gotten us to do this. And I did call Lindsay and say, we have to do this in the scheme of our lives. This is important. Hi, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Welcome to our little soiree. How relaxed were you when you were up on stage? You looked very calm. Oh, you should have seen it from my side. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was actually extremely nervous. Well, I've got to tell you, I was a mass of nerves. Very nervous. Very nervous. Their music has motivated a new generation of musicians as well. What's it meant to you to have some of your songs covered by people like Hole and Smashing Pumpkins? How's that been? I look at it as an incredible honor because they, Billy and Courtney, sort of personally um, have introduced me back to another generation of music that, you know, that I'm really not very involved in. It's interesting that time goes by and that someone of the caliber of, of Billy Corgan, I mean, he has a lot going on and uh, that he would suddenly be declaring, you know, Fleetwood Mac is, is not the enemy anymore. The Dance, a reunion concert by Fleetwood Mac, airs Tuesday night at 10. That's the news for now. We'll be back with more at 10 to the hour every hour here on MTV. MTV News. You hear it first. Artist of the Month for October. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the release of their album Rumors, which is one of the best-selling records of all time. But no one could have predicted that these guys would once again produce an album and share the stage. But of course, no one likes surprises more than rock fans. And when Fleetwood Mac got back together in 1997, the applause was deafening. Well, people like to celebrate a renewal in life anyhow. You know, second act, third act, fourth act. But reuniting wasn't easy for them. There were complications. What can you say? It's not like we didn't have fun before we did. Well, we and had so, too you much know, fun. We had just too much fun. And <laughs> so now we're having like a lot of fun, but it's not too much fun. You know? It's really easy to appreciate the chemistry of these five people uh, without all the 
the complications that were there before. And that's really a great thing. On how they feel about the renewed popularity. As a songwriter and an interpreter of thoughts and stuff, it's the best we could possibly ask for. And the critics. Fleetwood Mac uh, has sort of fashioned and engineered an incredible comeback. You can almost see the band members interacting with each other. You can see the drama that's reflected in the songs. Well, in terms of record sales alone, and their album, The Dance, is still in the top ten after three months. One thing's for certain, the Mac is back. The dance has gone double platinum, and in October it made it to number one on the Billboard album chart. Well, if you think.